Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can make a deposit into the L Bank cryptocurrency exchange. I'm going to share with you step by step how you can do this. So by the end of this video, if you follow along, you'd have cryptocurrency and a deposit into your L Bank exchange and it's completely beginner friendly. So the first step is you have to go to the top left here, which is I'm going to share with you how you can buy directly on the platform, but I'm also going to share with you how you can do it another way as well. So the directly on the platform, I'm going to share with you first. So what you do is come to the top left here. Here where it says buy crypto. Now there's multiple options here that you can choose from, but I just want to give you a heads up. Whatever method you use, you will have to verify your identification to buy cryptocurrencies from these third party platforms because they're all third party. I just wanted to give you a heads up there. So my option is click in the top one, which is credit and debit card. So just click on that. Then it'll show up a page just like this. You're going to be buying Tether, so USDT, which is a currency that you're going to use to pretty much trade for any cryptocurrency on this platform. You can pretty much use it to buy anything everything that's on the website you can use usdt so what we're going to do is click on how i will spend so you're going to be spending 30 dollars, which is a minimum amount that you can use to buy on this platform and then you can go to this drop down tab right here and you can click on that it'll give you multiple payment options so you just kind of click on all and then what you're going to do is commit to buy so once you commit to buy it should load up another window and as you can see it loads up another window here with multiple options for you to choose from now you can see that how much you're going to get from your $30 or whatever amount you want to deposit into the account. So from this right here, it's going to give me $28.85. Now the highest one, which is lowest fees, is going to give me $29.14 and some change. So it's totally up to you which one you use. Now all these are third party platforms, just a heads up. I just want to mention that again, and you can use whatever one you wish to be comfortable with. So I'm just going to go with the lowest one, lowest fees, and then I'm going to click on confirm. So all I did was click on it and put a little tick there and then I'm just going to click on commit so confirm the buy and it tells you the fees right here as well which is 62 cents US and it tells you the address that you're transferring, for, transferring to which is mine which is on my spot account I'm going to share with you where it goes when we do make the payment so I've noticed when I have loaded up this option to make the payment so this is the window that loads it says error in valid wallet address so the main reason that is because it's trying to send it to the incorrect address I'm not sure why it's having this error here but you need to send it to the TRC20 network. So it's an easy fix. All you have to do is go over to your L Bank account. And from the top right here, as you can see, if you click on the wallet, it'll come up with an address. So a drop down here. So you just need to go to the spot account and then you need to go to your USDT. So right here, USDT, you're depositing into this account here, into my spot account. So just click on deposit. So the little deposit button. And then you need to change this network to the TRC20. TR20, TRC20, because that's what we're depositing into. So we're buying and it's going to deposit to this address. So just copy it. You just want to confirm that copy. So confirm it again. So just make sure it's correct when you're on this page right here. So you can double check it. So all I'm going to do is remove that address and I'm just going to copy and paste this address into there. So now as you can see, there is no error and I can click continue and everything's all good now. So all you have to do is make sure it's on the TRC, TRC20 and then copy this address right here. That's all you have to do and it's copy option right here. And then just double check it with this one right here to make sure you're sending to the correct address. I would test this first with maybe a $30 transaction. Make sure it works, all good. And then you can do your larger transaction without any hassle. So just a heads up there. Because $30 is a bare minimum. That's why I was saying $30. And then click continue right here when you're ready. Now it's just asking you for email address. Like I mentioned, you will have to verify your account. So it's once an email email address so pretty much it's going to sign up an account for you so I'm just going to put my email address in here and then I'm just going to click on continue right here and it tells you how much you're going to get for your $30 which is $29.14 click continue again now it's going to ask you to verify your code so you're just going to need to go to your email address and get your code so this is what the email address will look like so all I'm doing is copy in the code on the keyboard but you can copy it and just type it in if you wish so put that code in right there and then as you can see it's just asking me for my information now so just put in your first and last name here so once you have completed this task click on continue now it's going to ask you for your credit card details now I'm going to come back onto here and I'm just going to type in my details and then it will move forward 
So once you have put in your debit card details in, all you do is click on pay your $30 and then you'll continue and it will ask you for your ID. I'm pretty sure it will. So that's just a heads up to you if you aren't aware of that. So now this is where the processing, it's processing. So give it a few minutes, do not press any buttons. How would you like to approve this payment? So you have to approve this payment. I'm gonna click on get an SMS code. So this is a process that you go and have to verify your account. So click on get an SMS code. Now it's gonna give you an SMS code to your actual phone number. So it's sending it to my phone number, which is linked up with Wise. I've just clicked on, clicked on that option right here. And it's asked me to select a payment that I recognize here. So I don't recognize any of these payments because I have not made any of these payments. So I'm just clicking, I don't recognize any of these payments and click on select and approve. Then I'm gonna move on to the next step. So once you've moved on to the next step, it should load up another screen as well. So after you do that, that as soon as you click continue, it will load up a screen and then it automatically go to this tab right here, which it says verify your identification. It is a bit annoying, but that's just how it is. So you do have to verify your identification. So click on continue and we're just going to pick which option we're going to verify with, which is going to be our ID. So I kind of confirm this, click next. So I'm from Australia. I'm going to click driver's license and then it will ask you to upload a front and a back image, or you can do this on your phone but I'm just going to do this on here so I can demonstrate to you so this option I'm actually going to use my phone so what I'm going to do is click on this little button here which it says continue with your phone which it says at the bottom right here so I'm going to click that and all you have to do is get up your camera app you just have to confirm and get the address so you can also just copy the link as well onto your mobile so once I've done this I'll let you know all it is is taking a photo of myself and just following what they tell me to do so once you have confirmed and done the actual selfie on your phone you can click continue on this device so the identification is still getting verified so just a heads up there so click on continue on this device so as you can see it's going over the application and the document right here now it can take automatically be verified as you can see it tells me it can automatically be updated and verified but I would give it a few minutes either way all right so as you can see the transaction has been completed so it's letting you know that it has been successful and it should be delivered to your address. So this address that is back on your account, on your L bank. Now, it was a bit of a process to actually do all this. So I understand like some people might see it complex. Hopefully my guide has helped you out. So what you do next is go back to your L bank account and click on spot account. So it should be in your spot account. So as you can see the USDT, the value of my account, it's showing in BTC, but it is actually USDT. So as you can see right, there. I just wanted to show you that it has been completed and that's how you can deposit it with that method. So now I'll share with you quickly how you can swap cryptocurrencies for other cryptocurrencies. So you have now got your USDT in your account but if you want to trade you will need USDT. USDT is the easiest way to do this. So once you go to the little trade bar right here, just see the little drop down tab. You just want to click on spot trading. So once you click on spot trading, you'll notice there's a lot of things going on. Like it looks confusing at first, but just don't panic too much about it. You just have to be aware that over here is like the most important area and this little area right here. So ignore everything else. And let me show you how you can buy cryptocurrency. So let's say there's a cryptocurrency that you want to buy. Let's say you want to buy Pepe too. So if you click on this bar right here, you can see that it shows you Pepe2 and USDT. Now, if you want to buy cryptocurrency or swap cryptocurrency on here, you need to have the pair, the cryptocurrency in this pair to be able to do the trade. So you need USDT or Pepe. So you're using the cryptocurrency on the right, you're using USDT to buy Pepe2. So whatever's on the right is what you're using to buy what's on the left. So you're using what's on the right to buy what's on the left. That's how it works. Now, when you found the one that you want to buy you click on it and then it'll bring up the window right here as you can see what you're buying on the left and what you're selling on the right so you're selling USDT to buy Pepe what's on the left so what you would do is you can go to limit here but you want to click on market so you're going to buy it for the market price then what you would do next so on the left here you would pretty much put in the amount that you want to buy of Pepe that's on the right here so you're selling USDT and buying Pepe and it shows you the amount of USDT you have right here as well so once you're 
you can type in the amount that you want to sell. So let's say you want to sell only $20 or you want to sell the whole lot. You just put in the whole percentage if you want. So you can go 50%, 100% or 75%. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Once you're happy with it, you just go and buy and then you can confirm the buy. And as you can see, the order should be placed. And if there's any open orders, it goes down here, as you can see, open orders. And now you can double check to make sure this has gone through. So as you can see, it has gone through. You just have to refresh it. See, it shows it's empty here and it shows you how much Pepe you have right here. Now, if you want to check where your cryptocurrency have gone when you have bought or swapped them, you can do this with any cryptocurrency. I want to mention that. So anything that you can think of, you can search through the tab right here. On the right, you can search through any cryptocurrency. You can also just type it in XRP, for example. And there you go. You got XRP and USDT pair. It's the same process for any cryptocurrency. So if you want to see where your cryptocurrency went, you just click on the wallet on the top right and then click on spot. This is where all your cryptocurrency goes to. And there you go. You can see I have Pepe2 right there, as you can see. And you can see USDT is right there as well. If you do have one to search cryptocurrency, you can search it on here as well on this little bar right here. So that's how you can deposit money into the L Bank exchange. If you do have any questions at all, feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you do want to sign up to L Bank, I will leave a link in the description below as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.